All right, guys, welcome back to Ralph's house. We're still battling our pitcher. Always oh, battling the pitchers. We love to battle the pitchers. We have fun playing. Hanging from the heart. Telling stories, and that's what we do. Now, I tell you what, now I just put a whole lot of water on my brush and probably just, well, I'm going to need that. I'm going to grab some of that raw umber. What other color do you think I just grabbed? Ultramarine blue. <laughs> Man, I tell you Imagine what. that. But do you see any blue out there anywhere? Mm -mm. Man, it ain't there, is it? But boy, it makes a good shadow color. We've got to have that coming right around this rock a little bit right here. So get that. See how I put that edge on that rock? I got a lot of water in this brush. Let's thin that out a little bit. The shadow over here. See? Let's carry this. I want that light up on the front of that rock. But I'm just trying to. Move that around a little bit. Get some more rock color in there. See how now that now, see how it made that light jump that's coming around that rock right there? Mm -hmm. We've got that light coming on down in here and little different nooks and crannies and these will cast different shadows. It's just the way it works. Just a simple few strokes can change the looks. It's just, it always has amazed me. Just playing with his paint. And that's what we do. We just play it. God, I love to play with paint. Mike, if I jump on these three real quick, would that hurt you? No, I absolutely do it. Okay. So it needs it. Well, well I know. But I got a good color for that, and what I'm going to jump on it is to get that rocks out there, and I want that to stay bright there, and that right there, where that light's really hitting on that. But let's, let's just kind of catch a little bit more rock color in it, see. I get too much of that out, I might have to come back and put a little more in, but I, I want that rock texture. And I, the only way I can get that is by doing it. Mm -hmm. And y'all see me do it a million times. Because <laughs> I do something, we'll be back. We always are. Let's put it on there. Roll it around. Rock texture. Rock texture. This one's a little bit farther up the holler. I want it a little bit darker, darker than those because it's kind of out of the light a little bit. And I want to cast a shadow on that. It's hitting strong like that. That rock's going to be casting a shadow across that rock scene. How's that? Does that work? Mm hmm. And maybe marbleize that little shadow that we had right in there a little bit more. Mm hmm. We're just, you know, I just, I call it marbleized. I don't know what you call it, but I don't know. I don't know all the technical terms. We're painting. We do know that. We're just grabbing a little bit of paint, carrying it to our canvas. So I want to darken that just a little. There we go. Again, move that into the. Ooh, I paint so fast to outrun the paint. Sometimes that's fun to do. <laughs> do you need to reload? No, 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 no. I still got it on my canvas. I mean, on, on my palette. I just, uh, no, I got this layer. I got my colors right there. I'm just, I'm just doing what I do. Top that edge a little bit more defined on that rock right there. It should be easy to find that out. Do you know there's some schools that pay you to do this? That always amazed me. I'll grab a little bit of just raw umber. 
You know, I like raw ones because they don't cover real good. But it's kind of a good uh, woodsy color. Just kind of get some out. Uh, see that it's there. Add some color to it, but not without covering everything. That shadow over there. Let's get some of that in here. And the more different colors you can use in your shadows, the more depth it builds in your shadows. That's what we want. So we had that shadow there that's kind of right down behind those trees. And probably one of the technical mistakes of this painting is that shadow, but we won't go there. <laughs> I'll tell you why in a little bit. But okay. <laughs> You can tell us now. Well, which way is that strong light coming from? Yeah, okay. Well, sometimes it just happens. But it looked good. It worked good. It was fun to do. Sometimes I do things because they're fun, but we can straighten that out. We might, we might not. We might just leave it. Put color in. See, colors just keep it from being... Now, I want to keep those at certain places where those lights are. We're going to keep that. We ain't through. We'll put some more lights on and tone them down. So that kind of looks like it steps down there. Mm-hmm. It comes up. Mm-hmm. Different layers of rocks. <laughs> and, that, and that stuff comes by accident. This ain't something he ain't planned. It just, sometimes it just works that way. Now a rock looks more like, to me, more rocky. More like a rock shit. Lights, 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 casting everywhere. I'm going to drop the big brush. Sometimes I go too far, too long. Get my little brush. I want, again, I want my ultramarine blue. I want my raw umber. I want my dark back. Got to have my dark. I'm going to grab a little bit of this red up here which is my burnt sienna. It ain't the crimson. I used it off of crimson earlier. So what I've created is a dark tree color. You gotta get some uh, my tree on here a little bit, pull some strokes up where the parts of that tree is going, some branches going up into here. I'm slightly pulling real lightly, see where I can make some fine strokes in there. Yeah, it's just how's that work, Mal? It's looking good, right? I don't want to lose all those good lights we got in there, darks we got in there, and lights. And sometimes it just goes too fast. But you know what? We got more tape. We'll be back. Y'all come. <laughs>